Welcome back, science fans. Today, we've got something truly mind-blowing to talk about. Imagine a landscape so ancient it's been frozen in time for millions of years. Well, guess what? Scientists have just discovered precisely that, right under the Antarctic ice. This hidden world of hills and valleys, carved by ancient rivers, is so massive it's bigger than Belgium. And here's the kicker. It's been sitting there, untouched, for more than 30 million years. Stuart Jameson, a glaciologist at the UK's Durham University, said that this landscape is so unknown. It's less explored than the surface of Mars. So how did they even find this place? The answer is radio echo sounding. Basically, planes fly overhead and send radio waves into the ice. The echoes that bounce back give scientists an idea of what's beneath. But doing this for the entire continent of Antarctica, which is bigger than Europe, is a big challenge. So the team got creative. They used existing satellite images to trace out the valleys and ridges more than two kilometers below the ice surface. When they combined this with radio echo sounding data, they saw an image of a landscape that looked like something you'd see flying over the mountains. Jameson compared it to the Snowdonia area of northern Wales. And get this. The area was once home to trees, forests, and probably even ancient animals before it got frozen over. Now here's where things get a bit concerning. This ancient frozen world could be threatened by human-driven global warming. According to the study, we're changing the Earth's atmosphere in a way to make it more, similar to the one that existed millions of years ago when it was a lot warmer. And as we do that, we don't know what the tipping point would be for runaway melting and how it would impact rising sea levels. All right, folks, if you thought that frozen landscape under Antarctica was mind-blowing, wait till you hear this next piece of news. Astronomers have found a new galaxy that's almost completely dark. Imagine a city at night with almost no lights on. That's what this galaxy, named Noob, is like in the universe. This galaxy was discovered by an international team of astronomers led by Mireya Montes from the University of La Laguna in Spain. They found it while analyzing deep optical imagery from the IAC Stripe Legacy Project. This survey looks at a large area of the sky and focuses on things that are really faint or hard to see. This survey is like having a telescope with night vision goggles. It helps them see things in the sky that are usually too faint or hard to see. Noob is located so far away that if you started traveling there today at the speed of light, it would take you 350 million years to arrive. And it's so faint, like trying to see a single firefly in a dark forest. The galaxy has a super low surface brightness, around 2675 magnitude per arc second squared. That means it's really, really faint. The galaxy is thought to be about 10 billion years old with low levels of elements such as iron and oxygen. Low metal content doesn't directly make the galaxy faint but it helps to give scientists clues about the galaxy's history, formation, and even its age. Noob is like a cosmic fossil. It gives scientists clues about the early universe and helps us understand how galaxies form and evolve. So, in a way, studying Noob is like studying the ancient ruins of a civilization, but for the entire universe. It's a window into our cosmic past and could help us understand our place in the universe. Finally, let's shift our focus from the depths of Earth and the far reaches of the cosmos to something a bit closer to home, India's booming space program. The Indian Space Research Organization has been making headlines recently and for good reason. This year alone, they've achieved some remarkable milestones. They successfully landed a lander near the moon's south pole, launched their first solar probe, Aditya L1, and completed a launch abort system test for the Gaganyaan spacecraft. This is a spacecraft that India hopes will carry three astronauts around Earth on an orbital mission by 2026. What makes this even more impressive is that if India succeeds, it will join an elite club of nations. Russia, the US, and China all have sent their own astronauts to space. Rich Cooper, Vice President of Communications and Outreach for the Space Foundation, even went on to say, India is the most impressive, exciting space story of the year. But the Indian space program isn't new to the game. They launched their first satellite, Rohini-1, back in 1980. They've got big plans, too. A second Mars orbiter is set for 2024, and a mission to Venus is planned for 2025. What's interesting is that India has been a keen student of the successes and failures of other nations' space programs. They've done their homework and are now applying those lessons to their own ambitious projects. The Gaganyaan program, for instance, has multiple spacecraft tests lined up before the first human climbs aboard. However, it's not all smooth sailing. The program has faced delays, both due to the pandemic and typical complexities of human spaceflight. But experts believe that a crewed mission by 2026 is entirely possible. India is aiming for a strong space program, not only for technological bragging rights, but for geopolitical standing as well. 
As India's space program grows, it serves as a peaceful way for the country to cultivate national and geopolitical prestige. And it sets an example for other nations looking to become space powers in the 21st century. That's it for this week. If you're enjoying this whirlwind tour of scientific discoveries, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Until the next time,